So anyway, today we're going to uh, create and solve equations. Um, what we're what we are going to focus on is uh, how do you use an equation to model and solve real world problems. So if I say my cell phone bill is a $10 flat rate fee and they charge me 25 cents per text and 25 cents per minute, how do I figure out what my cell phone bill will be? And how many minutes can I make text messages? How many how many messages can I send? All that stuff. There's an equation that I can come up with. And if I say I have a $50 budget, I can set that equation equal to 50 and then solve and see how many I can do. Uh, most people don't do it that way, um, but they do. In other words, they don't set up the equation, but they do all the math work that's associated with solving the equation. So we're just adding that extra step of having the equation, okay? So let's get started. Um, it says you can use what you know about writing algebraic expressions to write an equation that represents real world situations. So our last lesson we wrote expressions, now we're just gonna set it equal to something. Uh, suppose Corey and his friend wanted to go to a movie, each of their tickets cost the same amount. Um, and they share frozen yogurt that cost $5.50. The amount they spend is $19.90. And you write an expression that describes the situation. The word is tells you something. Is usually means equal. The word total tells you that the operation involved in the relationship is addition. Sometimes there's multiplication, but in this particular case, we're going to add a couple things. Um, what is the numerical information that you have? Well, yogurt is how much? Yeah, that's five dollars and fifty cents. What other information did you have? The total bill was what? Nineteen ninety. Um, and then what else? Well, what is the unknown quantity? What is it that we don't know? I'm gonna read this again and you tell me what it is we don't know. Suppose Corey and his friend Walter go to a movie. Each of their tickets costs the same amount. They share a frozen yogurt, which is five fifty. The total amount they spent or spend is nineteen ninety. Can you write an equation? What's the thing that we don't know? How much their tickets are? I don't know how much their tickets are. So the unknown quantity is the cost of the tickets. Okay. So now what we want to do is says choose the name for the variable. In this case, we're going to say C for the cost of tickets. Okay. And parentheses put tickets. And in the verbal description, twice the cost of what? A ticket. Why did they say twice the cost of a ticket? Two tickets, right? You need a ticket for Corey, and you need a ticket for Walter. So that's two tickets total. Each one of those needs a ticket. Plus the cost of... Yep. Uh-uh. We're, no, we're doing this math problem right now. And what does it equal? It equals what? What is the cost of the two tickets that they're having and the yogurt that they're having? What does that equal? Yep. Yep. Equals 1990. 
because way up here originally, right before 1990, it says is 1990. So that means equals 1990 is going to be somewhere. All right, so now we got to write the equation. Write a numerical Oh, you know what? It's 1990, but let's put a word in there. I'm getting ahead of ourselves. That's the total. Okay. So the first thing they wanted us to do is they wanted us just to kind of think it out. You're right. It is 1990, but really they wanted the total, right? It equals the total. And now we're going to plug in the number. So we're going to write a numerical expression or an algebraic expression because one of these things we don't know. So if it's just numbers, it's just a numerical expression. This plus this plus this equals 1990. But since we don't know the cost of the tickets, it's going to be something C plus something equals 1990. And then insert the equal sign in the appropriate place. So what, what would you say the equal sign would be? How would you write that? Well, it's two times the cost of the tickets. How much did they spend for yogurt? Yeah. Which is pretty cheap for two yogurts. Um, and that, their total bill was 1990 So now the question is, is, okay, now that we've got the equation, how do I... How can I use the verbal model to write the equation from from the scribe? Well, in other words, we said twice because there's two people. So this is two people have a ticket. This is the cost for their yogurt. One might say, well, did they spend, at first I thought, did they spend five fifty each for their yogurt? And you got to read it carefully. It says, and they share a frozen yogurt. So they bought one frozen yogurt that cost five fifty, and they shared it. So it's just five fifty. And is, this is the is part, and this is the total. And so the word they used for two people, though, was twice. Twice means two people. So how did that help? Well, what we did is we had twice. Um, and we called that C, or you could say 2C twice the cost of the ticket plus the cost of the yogurt is equal to the total cost. So it says, could you write a different equation to describe the same situation? I mean, you can, sort of, but it's still basically got to be the same. Um, I mean, so the answer I would say is yes. Um, and you could write it like this. You could say... Uh, $19.90 uh, minus the cost of the tickets would equal $5.50. That's one way you write it. Or you could say the cost of the ticket plus the cost of the second ticket plus $5.50 um, equals $19.90. And what's interesting is that most kids that I have in this class would say, well, I know how I would solve it, Mr. Adams. I don't need to write an equation. I would just say 1990, and I know I subtract 550 because that was the cost of the yogurt, 
So that leaves me with 1440, right? And then that is the cost of two tickets. So I would take the 1440 and divide it by two and get $7.20. And we're going to come back and look at that in a second because we're going to solve that equation. So most of you guys will do the math the right way. It's just we're just adding one extra step. In other words, if I were to find the cost using the equation, if I said 2 times C, no, plus 550, because I have the equation, I would just say 1990, and then I would subtract 550 from both sides because we want to move things away from C. And so I would get 2C is equal to 1440. Then you divide by 2, divide by 2, and you're left with C equals 720. So mathematically, everybody does everything the same. It's just they don't do this first line here. This is the part that most of my students struggle with. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving. So let's do another, well, I'll jump into the next example in a second. So does this stuff make